Hi, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee, and in this video, we're going to talk about the second pattern of thyroid dysfunction, which is a dopamine thyroid connection. So, in the last lesson, we talked about the first pattern out of, there's about 24 patterns that we probably talk about when it comes to thyroid dysfunction. And we are now going to discuss the second pattern. So again, so why do you still have symptoms, you know, like constipation, uh, depression, maybe you're feeling cold, maybe you're feeling fatigue, maybe you have weight gain, even though, you know, you're dieting and you're taking these prescription medications, why are you still getting these symptoms? So this is where getting to the root cause can change that. And it can have an important influence on people with these struggles, really. Um, the first pattern had to do with the TSH, low T4, serotonin symptoms. And the second pattern that we're going to talk about, we're going to be getting into more of today, which deals with like low TSH, low T4, and dopamine deficiencies symptoms. And these symptoms consist of low motivation where you don't want to get, you know, you don't want to get up and do anything. You experience depression. You just don't feel like you want to be around anyone or, you know, you, you don't want to do things and that, that you used to love to do. So people experience these types of symptoms uh, because they could have a dopamine deficiency. So if you're this type of person and you find yourself that you're, you know, you're after stimulants, like, you know, you have to give yourself uh, motivation or something, or you have to be looking for caffeine or coffee or energy drinks. So these products, what they do is they tend to elevate your motivation a little and elevate your dopamine and for a short time only. But guess what? They're unhealthy. And your cells in your brain become used to that jolt of dopamine for a short time and it creates a dopamine deficiency long term. So what you really want to do is produce dopamine for the long haul and find ways to support the dopamine production. There really isn't a way to know if a person has low dopamine levels because there's not a really good test or there actually isn't a test to do so. But what we do is we like to test, you know, we like to test the nervous system. We like to give you a questionnaires. It gives us some insight on understanding that pattern. This is not a simple equation. We have to look at the 24 different patterns. We have to look at the 10 different steps of thyroid metabolism. So it really depends on how that person needs to be helped at that time. And believe me, it changes over the course of that care too. This is basically pattern number two. And... Uh, I hope, again, I hope this, this, these videos are helping you with information and really beginning and really you could begin to understand how important uh, your thyroid really is and, and to experience the level of function that you had before, you really have to do the testing right. So again, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee. I hope you enjoyed this video. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have many other videos like this. Uh, also, go to my website, getleantoday.com. We have podcasts there. And more importantly, come into my live webinar. You know, this is a free webinar that I have for the public, and we do it live every single week. All right, this is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Stay tuned. Please make sure you like my video, and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much, and please visit my site, getleantoday.com.